Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Evoque, then I'll take you for a ride in it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2.2 ED4 PureTech two-wheel drive. It's a five-door, 2012 on a 12 plate, has done 45,648 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 47.1 extra urban 62.8 combined is 56.5 so very very economical 0 to 60 time of 10.6 seconds a top speed of 112 miles per hour out of a 150 brake horsepower 16 valve engine road tax is fairly cheap too 12 months is 160 pounds six months is only 88 pounds it's a great specification car and it's in the most sought after colour combination too. White, black leather and it's got the full glass panoramic sunroof too. Um, front here we've got high pressure headlamp wash, front parking sensors, some spoke alloy wheels and it's set on uh, Pirelli Scorpions I think. Yep, Pirelli Scorpions all round. The wheel arch, uh, the plastic wheel arch protectors there. You've also got the same uh, plastic mouldings on the bottom, stops the bottom of the doors getting chipped and, and going rusty. Rear privacy glass. We've got electric boot release on the back here at the top, obviously. You've got the extended kind of roof spoiler, tailgate spoiler, call it what you will. And underneath there, that hides your rear wash wipe. Uh, the motor on the outside and, and also the wiper blade there as well. Plenty of room here in the in the boot, rear load cover. You've also got rear parking sensors in the back bumper there. Leather's like new in the back. With this, um, with the panoramic roof, you've got more headroom. It's nice and light and airy in the back too. Uh, so great for passengers, not, don't feel uh, claustrophobic like it does in some cars. Um, seat backs are hollowed out, so you've got more knee room. We've got rear centre armrest there with cup holders uh, and uh, a little, <laughs> maybe I should explain. This car already came in late last night. It's not been cleaned. This this is just as it come in. When Lance has finished with it, there won't be anything in the rear centre armrest, and the car will be as uh, as, as well like new. I am um, also Land Rover. Very very safe design. <laughs> if we're looking in the front here, we've got airbags in the A pillar, in the roof here, the B pillar, the C pillar, and the D pillar. Nice, nice, lovely safe car to be in. You've got the Isofix rear child seat anchor points in the back seat too. Uh, and it, it is a nice, comfortable environment. Nice high seat backs too. Um, we've got Meridian speakers all round as well. So the, the audio system's great. I'll just take you for a ride in it. go let's uh, keyless go just put that actually I'll just put that there so hopefully it doesn't rattle start button there foot on the clutch and uh, away we go so service history 15th 4 2013 AJ riding 6,027 miles, 25th of 4th, 2014 at Hunter's Land Rover, uh, Chester, 11,677 miles, AJ riding it again there, 2nd of 5th, 2015, 18,518 miles, DNS Autos, which is just up the road from us, 26,061 miles, 16th of the 2nd, 2016, and then uh, to our customer, um, at Northwest Autocare, 
9th of 4th, 2019 at 42,413 miles. And it's done 46, was it now? So, manual gearbox, six speed manual. Let's just see whether it goes off when we set off. So, it's in park. There you go. So as long as you've got everything on and uh, you just set off, uh, park will go off. I really like the look of these Evokes. I do think they're the nicest SUV, nicest looking SUV. Uh, just like a kind of a smaller Range Rover Sport, but uh, nice imposing look to them well finished off inside brushed aluminium on the dash here around the gear tunnel got meridian speakers um oh, right let's just turn that up rolling stones there so that's playing off my uh, iphone here oh, let's not touch that while i'm driving got Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming, sat-nav as well. Got a nav button there. You just got to agree that you're not going to get distracted. But the, the best feature is the uh, full-length pan roof. It's nice, light and airy, and if it gets too hot for you, there's a full-length shade band as well, which we don't want. Nice positive gearbox, good driving position. The seats are manually adjustable except for height adjustment. And uh, just when we get on the straight here, Good acceleration. The height adjustment here, there we go. That's going up, going down again. So that's nice and handy. Indicator on the dash tells you when to the optimum time to change gear is. Just lovely to drive. Let's say nice some some gear changes or gearboxes you think are fairly soft and nice and slick um, and then you've got these you've got others like the Land Rover which is it's equally as easy to change but there's kind of a nice positive click um, just you know you know when you're in in between gears and you know when it's going into gears and you know when to start letting your clutch out so nice smooth gear changes Good brakes, braking in a straight line, no wobbles, so uh, discs and everything are uh, doing the job properly and not warped. Seats are nice and comfortable. I've got the heated seat on, which is uh, nice and toasty. I'm just going to uh, go past this Nissan Note. Oh, little old lady. She'll, she'll probably burn me off now. <laughs> must have uh, touched the interior light before. Well, do you think they were a bit late coming through the lights?
Toyota Prius there with regenerative braking. Uh, he should have been taking his opportunity to uh, cut down his fuel cost, but instead, straight through a red light. He's got a big Union Jack pillar, so I'm going to let him off. adjustable steering wheel the same meridian speakers as well so the sound is really good unfortunately I can't play any audio for too long otherwise uh, we have copyright issues on YouTube and uh, Mick Jagger will be demanding all my uh, all my my advertising fees so here we go we've got a power socket in there USB Looks like iPod connection and also auxiliary in. Got the locking wheel nut key there. And uh, it actually just fits in nicely. There's a little space in there. Stops it rolling about in the armrest. So I'm gonna have to switch the heated seat off. We've also got heated front screen as well, which is, days like this morning it's the world's best accessory after heated seats at least you can have a warm seat while here <laughs> screens defrosting multifunction steering wheel here your phone controls and you've got cruise control on this side particularly good system on Land Rovers is the one touch. I'm just going to adjust my mirror there. There we go. I think it was working at first, but uh, I clicked it off. Pilot error. So there we go. If I hit that now. just increase it a little bit this chap in the van's pulled in front of me which has caught me up a little bit but uh, also I was in fifth caught myself up even more so we'll just accelerate to 70 using the cruise to increase it there 70 oh we're going too fast now Seventy miles an hour, two thousand revs, nice and quiet. Remember, we've got uh, headlamp wash and uh, wipers are all good. Rear wash wipe. That's yeah, that's all good too. Electric window controls on the armrest here and the instrument cluster left hand side speedo your information display in the center which you can change using these buttons here your vehicle setup Just on here, you can change the mode or the source. That's telling me the junctions, your next junction coming up and showing you where we're going. When I, uh, I'll stop in a short while, I'll show you how to delete a mobile, how to pair a mobile, how to stream audio, and also how to set your sat nav in this, uh, in this vehicle. But it, uh, it is very, very nice. So uh, another great car and uh, let's see we've got uh, four Land Rovers in at the moment Range Rovers three Discoveries and this uh, Range Rover Evoque
this is probably just about the right size not too big not too small this is going to be interesting see where this chap's going nice elevated driving position which is particularly handy coming around this bend because the, the road raises and uh, veers off to the left and right which you can't see till you crest Great steering and road holding. And this is the bit here you you can't see which way the road goes till you get to here, and then you need to be steering. Not out of ten for the planning department there. Yeah, I love this car. I think the uh, I'm going faster than 50, that's for sure. I think this vehicle's MOT till April, but uh, we'll be getting it done again. I said in previous videos, these test drives, woo, pigeon. These test drives. Uh, serve a couple of purposes show the customer that we've got the vehicle in that it drives okay it's not been through the workshop yet so if I pick up anything on the test drive I'll point them towards that that's uh, towards things that wouldn't necessarily be um, immediately obvious on a ramp inspection I don't think there's many garages that will take a car for a 10 mile drive before they do An inspection either. I'll finish the test drive in a short while. Just remind you to like and subscribe. We're uh, getting up there towards 12,000 subscribers and uh, is it 14, 14 million views, which is uh, which is incredible. Yesterday, I know. I know what you th you think. You're probably thinking uh, we we had an inquiry from Zimbabwe. The guy says he's having the car, and it's uh, it may just be a scam. Oh, <laughs> a shit shooter! I'm glad I saw that because I remember to close the windows. It stinks in Watneydale when he's doing that, even more than usual. I was going to stop there and show you how to do the sat nav, but I don't think I'll bother now. Oh, and talking about smells, it leads me on to our latest um, affiliate, Copycat Fragrances, and, and they make designer smelling aftershaves and perfumes uh, for a fraction of the cost. And one in particular, uh, Creed Aventus, and uh, that's £265 a bottle for 100 millilitres. And they do a, a smell alike. Um, on copycat fragrances that's only 55 I'll try and remember to put a link in the description but if you go into GG cars or our, our web store BC cars we, we've got all sorts of stuff Levi's Lacoste aftershaves designer Italian shoes you name it uh, we've got it so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video which I think will be a Hyundai estate tomorrow